I wanted to know what happens to young men who have defected from Al Shabab.、Um, Somalia's literary tradition appears to have a new star on the horizon, and his latest novel may also prove to be a useful tool against the Al Shabab terror group. Hassan Gedi Santour is a Somali Canadian residing in Toronto. So are his main characters in his book *The Youth of God*. Nor, the youth of the title, is a first-generation Somali in Canada. He experiences some bullying due to his cultural identity, but also yearns to fit in. There is a tug of war between his biology teacher, Mr. Elmi, who encourages him to assimilate, and Imam Yusuf, who wishes to give Nor religious education that interests him. While there are many interesting twists and turns to the story, and other significant characters, including Elmi's wife, as he approaches adulthood, Nur is recruited by the Imam to join the Al Shabab. It is certainly a novel that addresses an important current topic with both nuance and bravery. Recently, another Somali writer gained some much-deserved acclaim. Two years ago, Nadifa Mohammed was shortlisted for the prestigious Booker Prize. Her 2021 novel, *The Fortune Men*, was based on a true story about a Somali wrongly accused of a crime and hanged in Cardiff, Wales. Nadifa was the first British Somali to be shortlisted for the honor. Santor's novel was first published in 2019 and won him the Pius Adesanmi Award for African Writing. It is getting new attention because of its subject matter. This should be required reading for Somali high school students in the country and in the diaspora, facing challenges of trying to fit in, making ends meet, satisfying parents or mentors, or just finding their place in society. Young Somalis could greatly benefit from the author's relatable characters and deep thinking. The book might just keep some youth from making a tragic choice. ADN TV will continue to report on literary developments affecting Somalis.